Hello, and welcome to a Cord Electronics instructional video. We're going to show you how to get your Cord Electronics DAC or M scaler connected to a Windows computer and playing back audio. This video is applicable to our current product range, but will also work for most older models. Before we connect anything up, first we need to locate and download the correct drivers for your device. Using the incorrect drivers or Windows Direct Sound can result in distorted playback or general playback issues. Each product's drivers can be found on the relevant product page next to the manual and other downloadable content. Download the driver and open the setup file. Windows will now ask for your permission to run this app and make changes to your device. Please select yes as the driver requires this access in order to work. Now press install to continue installation, followed by next and finish. Please also allow the installation of the ASIO driver in case your playback software requires it. Your computer may require a restart which should be completed before proceeding. Now press finish. The drivers are now successfully installed and your computer will recognise your DAC via USB. Before we start any playback, it's always best to ensure Windows is not going to use your DAC for anything other than your music playback and that your playback software takes priority. Connect your device via USB and open Settings, System, Sound, Device Properties, Additional Device Properties and Advanced. Check that Exclusive Mode is engaged in both boxes for your device. Let's try some playback applications and ensure we're getting the most out of our equipment. When selecting an output in Quobuzz, ensure you select either the ASIO or Wasapi Exclusive drivers where available and not Direct Sound. In Tidal, select the Chord Digital Output and ensure that under More Settings you have engaged Exclusive Mode. We would also suggest engaging Forced Volume to ensure the DAC controls the volume. If you are using Rune, you need to select Settings and Audio to reveal your available outputs. From here, you can enable the Chord Driver and then select your product from the list provided. Now, this device will be recognised as an output in Rune and can be selected for playback. You can check your playback is lossless by pressing the signal path icon shown. Thanks for watching. Give us a like or a thumbs up if this video has helped, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments.